All right, today I'm going to show you how to create individual pieces to your puzzle cube in Autodesk Inventor. So what I have here is I just opened up a new part file. It's a standard IPT. So once you have a screen that looks like this, we're going to go to Create 2D Sketch, and you're going to see your planes that come up. Um, if you want to start your creation from the top view, um, you would click on this plane, left view, or I'm sorry, right view, go to this plane, and then front would be right here. Um, I like to start most of my drawings from the front plane, so we'll click on this here. And what you see in the middle is the origin. Um, th this is zero, 0, it's where the X and the Y intercept. So I'm going to start sketching out my part. I'm going to use my line tool. And if I start at the origin, you see a green dot that pops up. That means you're snapping right to the origin. That is where you always want to start. And I am going to quickly draw out the basic shape of my piece. Notice that it snaps right to where it's perpendicular and parallel. Um, you see your 90 degree marker there as well. Um, you always want to make sure that your lines are completely straight. So let's say my shape looks something like this. We actually want to move this over a little bit. That should be okay. Alright, so now the next step is to dimension our piece. So we know that our cubes are 0.75 by 0.75. So, <coughs> excuse me, if we go to dimension up here, you can also access that by pressing D on your keyboard. We're going to click on our top dimension, and it will ask you to edit dimension when you click again. So if I have three cubes across, that's going to get me to 2.25 inches. You see our piece changes here. Um, we have 1.5 inches on the side. This goes down to 0.75. That's also 0.75. Yeah, let's do this one as well. <coughs> there we go. So now we have a fully constrained piece. So now we convert this 2D sketch into a 3D object. So we're going to right click and do finish 2D sketch. And we're brought to what's going to be our isometric view. So what I want you to do is right click and go to extrude. And we're going to extrude this shape 0.75. Press check mark and you'll have a finished piece. <coughs> I'm sorry for the cold. So what we want to do here is we want to change the material to wood. And then depending on what color your piece is, you can change the color right up here. So let's say it's canary. Nice yellowish green. So now you have a finished part. <coughs> let's say that you have a piece that's extruded. Um, so there's another dimension to your part. The way that you would create that is you would go to Create 2D Sketch. And depending on which plane your part is extruded from, you click on that plane, and we want to use our rectangle tool to draw out another cube. So we, we remember that our cubes are 0.75 by 0.75. So if you notice, it actually just snaps those dimensions. We'll right click, finish 2D sketch. And then we want to extrude this section out again. So if I right click and go to extrude, I can hover over my block here and you'll see that that block has been extruded and now I am done with my piece. So after you're finished with your piece you want to save it so just go to save you can also click the floppy disk up here in your quick access toolbar and you want to save it into your C drive or into your folder in Zcad 
Um, I do not have Zcat on my computer here, but make sure that you're saving it as your initials. So mine would be ET underscore canary or the color of your part and save it into your puzzle cube project folder.